Hey 10th graders, um, this is Esmin here. Just wanted to check in on you and share some information with you. As you can see, I have created some checklist items that I think would be good for you guys to complete during your 10th grade year. Your 10th grade year is almost over, so that's pretty crazy. You're gonna be an 11th grader soon. Um, so to make sure you're prepared for that, I listed some things that I would like for you to try to accomplish um, over this time while we are doing the distance learning. If you have any questions, of course, please reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to talk you through any of these options. And then also I would be available to do like Zoom conference calls if you and your parent wanted to talk about your future goals, anything like that. Please let me know how I can help you. I am definitely here to help. So within this checklist, there are a few things. The very first most important thing is to just make sure that you do everything in Idaho CIS. That's Idaho Career Information System. So that's the very first uh, link on this virtual career center that you see that tells you how to create an account and then save everything. So if you don't save your stuff, it's just a complete waste of time. But if you do save your stuff, you're going to be really grateful come senior year when you're going back and you're looking at all the different cool things you've accomplished. So the first thing on there is, of course, to create and save everything to CIS. Then there's an occupation sort. So the occupation sort is pretty cool. Um, basically, it gives you a list of items for you to rate how important they are to you in your future job. So those things might be like working indoors versus outdoors, working with your hands, problem solving, um, working with science, technology, math, all those things that you'll rate um, as to how important they are for you in your job in the future. And then it might match you up with some occupations based off of that that you could potentially explore. Again, make sure you save your results because it's super important so that we don't lose them. Next thing that we have is just to write or revise your career goals. So please know that I don't expect you to have everything figured out right now. I know that the average college student changes their major at least three times. I changed mine three times. Um, so I do not expect you as a 10th grader to have it all figured out. However, I would love to have you just have an idea of what you would like to do beyond high school. Um, so that might even just be basic and say, I don't know what I want to do for sure, but I know I want to go to college or I want to be a registered nurse or I want to be a welder or I want to be an electrical engineer. I want to be a scientist, whatever. Uh, whatever you want to do right now, please document that and save it. That means that I can then view what your goals are and help you meet them, which will be good for both of us. Um, make sure you save on that, of course. Now is also a really good time to learn about how you're going to pay for college. So college is pretty expensive. Um, if you talk to your teachers, your counselors, your parents, maybe other adults that you know who have been to college, many of them will say they're still paying off student loans. Um, so the earlier that you start planning for your education, the better, the less likely you'll have to take out a lot of student loans. Um, it's good for you to just have a basic understanding of what the options are and how to go about with those options. Um, there are some scholarships that you could start looking for already. Um, there are some that you're, al you're allowed to apply for before junior year even. So please keep an eye out for those. And then the next thing I want to talk to you about is many of you will have already realized that the Career Center has been doing um, PSAT advising. So our goal is to talk to every 10th grader about his or her PSAT score discuss where you have like areas of improvement, um, talk about how to do a schedule to study for the actual SAT next year, talk about what it means for you to have scored within the range that you did, talk about AP classes possibly, all that fun stuff. So some of you probably got called down to the Career Center before all of this COVID-19 craziness. Um, but if you didn't, please check your student email we'll be sending um, advising via email. If you have additional questions regarding your PSAT score, please reach out to me um, via email. We can set up a conference time or we can just chat through email if that works better for you. But just know that that's coming. The last thing is about saving info to your resume. So even if you're not trying to do um, applications right now and you're not applying for any jobs, it's still really important to document all the things that you do every year so that you have it all up to date and you remember when you did it, where you did it, and like what the cool things were. So a lot of my seniors, when they're applying for college or scholarships, they forget all the cool things that they do. So anytime you're in a sport, anytime you um, go to like 
an activity such as like women in leadership or you participate in a training, you get a certificate. Uh, and some certificates that we, that might include would be like the Microsoft or Excel certificate that you get in business computer applications or the Adobe one you get in uh, media technology. Taking speech, that's a big one too because public speaking and communication is super important. Um, so please make sure you save all that information. And then when you're a senior, it's super easy because all you have to do is export that and you don't have to make a resume every single time you're applying for an application. It's saved in a nice, clear, easy space. Um, the last thing I want to say is just that I'm here. Um, I'm still working. As you can see, I'm talking to you from my kitchen. Um, but I am definitely still here for you. I'm still your college and career counselor. And my goal is to help you meet your goals. So please reach out to me as you have questions, concerns. Um, and I hope that you are all doing really well. And I hope you are all happy and healthy. Make good choices. Stay hygienic. Uh, and reach out if you need it. Thanks, guys.